want to check now in with CNN's Diane Gallagher, who's in New Bern, where we've been seeing a lot of those rescues. She had a close call with the flooding earlier tonight. She was on a National Guard vehicle when it began taking on water. She had to uh, be saved by three volunteers who were with her now. Diane, um, what's the situation? Uh, obviously, at this point, Anderson, we are safe. I just want to give an idea. That vehicle there you see behind us is very similar to the one that we were in. Uh, essentially, we were on a rescue mission with three members of the North Carolina National Guard and another Swiftwater Rescue a member here in New Bern. When it, we got to a very deep area, it appeared the road had washed out in our car. Uh, our vehicle tended to slip, it seemed like. It began taking water on the inside part in there flipping over a little bit. Uh, I cannot give enough uh, kudos and compliments to the way the North Carolina National Guard handled the situation, getting everybody out uh, to Sergeant McKinney and his crew, who are still waiting with that vehicle now. Uh, they were rescued. They went back to wait so they could get it out of here. The people who rescued us, though, Anderson, uh, teenagers from New Bern who have been coming around here and uh, basically rescuing, I think you guys said 50 plus people here. And so Robert showed up in his boat uh, while we were trying to get out the back of that vehicle, Robert. And you guys have been doing this all day though, right? It's not just the National Guard. Yeah, we, we, we've been doing this all day. Talk to me, what, what, have, what have you guys seen? What's been going on? Uh, we've seen a lot of people with a lot of water in their houses. There have been pets stranded. And anyone that needs help that looks like we can help, we try to go help. That's what we, we've been doing up here. I drove from Moorhead to Beaufort to get my boat, and then I came all the way up here when I found out about this, and I, we put on my boat in. Uh, first rescue we did was actually an unofficial rescue. Don't tell the police department, but um, there are these people, and they're stranded outside their house, and they were all up on the porch because of the high, highest part of their house, and we actually walked in, got them, carried them out. It was two very elderly people. And we put them in the back of my truck and in my boat, and we took them to their father's house where it's high and dry. And, and, and Jacob, you guys have been doing this, uh, you guys work with the police department kind of, so we, yeah. it is in tandem, right? Well, we uh, we went and volunteered. So uh, at first, like you said, like uh, Robert said, we were, you know, just going around where he, near where Tanner lives and, uh, you know, we ended up finding the four people and then we ended up going to the volunteer police department and then, you know, after everything was said and done, we ended up going to Washington Post Road, and that's where we found you all, so, you know. <laughs> we are very grateful you guys did find us. Tanner, this is something that you said that you guys are happy you are able to do this, though, during the storm, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, I would just like to help other people. Uh, I know my mom's kind of upset that I'm out here, but this is just how I was raised. This is what I want to do. And um, one day I'm hoping I could probably do this for a living. But you guys, I mean, you're talking 50 plus rescues between you all today. You guys have not had to really do this before, have you? No, ma'am. We just, he called me, said he was on the way. If I wanted to help out, I said, sure. And this, this is where we're at. I, I thank Tanner and Jacob and Robert so much. And uh, there are other friends who were with them. And of course, Sergeant McKenney and the rest of the North Carolina National Guard, who again are still with that vehicle trying to, to wait to uh, see they get some rescue there, pull it out. Uh, they, we were on our way to rescue three individuals at that time, Anderson. But it does go to show just how dangerous these first responders' jobs are uh, after hurricanes when they're trying to go and get people out and evacuate. Obviously, they are getting help from volunteers like these guys here, the Cajun Navy, those volunteers from Maryland that we were uh, with earlier today in the boats. But I, I think sometimes we forget because most of them are successful just how dangerous this can be for them.